So should we go over here to the uh, TRD offerings from Toyota? Look at the Land Cruiser. Unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties with our audio and mic setup. So I'm here to talk to you about the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser and Toyota Tacoma that we got to see up close and personal here at SEMA. They're offering a Land Cruiser model, a first edition model, and a 1958 edition model. We're standing here next to the Heritage Blue model of the Land Cruiser. I'm a huge fan of the color. Not the biggest fan of the two-tone roof, but the blue is really impressive looking in person. This comes with some off-road goodies, including some 33-inch tires and a 265-70R18. Although these tires are not all-terrain tires, they give a little bit more of a street look. This is a little bit more off-road capable than the 1958 and the base model version of this. Now with that, it comes with full-time four-wheel drive and a two-speed transfer case with a center locking diff. The LC model comes with an impressive feature of a disconnectable anti-roll bar that gives you improved suspension travel in off-road conditions. In addition to that, it has some on-road and off-road features. It has a crawl feature and it also has a downhill assist. Both models come with a large touchscreen display, which gives you some really nice tech features. And they also give you the ability to upgrade the sound package to a premium audio sound package with 14 speakers from JBL. Now, both models are gonna be coming with a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine that is a hybrid technology engine. This is gonna have 326 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque. So this is a point of contention for me and why I'm a little bit in favor of the GX550. The six cylinder twin turbo engine that is in the GX550 platform to me feels like a more reliable engine than this 2.4 liter four cylinder hybrid engine. I think that the GX550 in the long run is going to be the better more reliable vehicle but i may be proven wrong only time will tell japanese and toyota auto manufacturing and engineering is of superb quality and i'm excited to see the reliability reports on these vehicles once they get up into those higher mileage ranges now we're going to walk over here to the silver 1958 edition this model is going to be a little bit less capable off-road than the lc edition we just saw starting with the 32 inch tires that come with it these are a 245 70r18 the thing i like about this is it does pay homage to the original Land Cruiser platform with these nice round headlights on the LC model that we were just looking at has the more squared off design. The best part about this is the price for the 1958 edition. They have not shown what the price tag is for the other models, but they are giving us a price tag of the mid 50K range on this 1958 edition. So to wrap things up, that final model we do not see here, that is gonna be the first edition model. That is gonna be a low production quantity vehicle and there's only gonna be 5,000 of them produced for the US market. The main difference with the first edition model is you're gonna get the off-road capabilities that you got with the LC platform, but you're gonna get the nice iconic rounded headlights. The interior will also be showing off some first edition badging so that you know you have one of those first edition models some rock sliders and a roof rack. So not really much of an upgrade there and there's really only 5,000 of those left. So getting your hands on one of those is gonna be challenging. In my personal opinion, I think why the community loves these so much is we personally like to modify them themselves. So most people are gonna be buying these and doing their own off-road modifications with aftermarket parts to really customize the vehicle to the, the look and style that they want. All right, let's walk over to this Toyota Tacoma over here. This is a silver limited model. Really love the styling of the new Tacomas. Love the fact that they come with the option of a manual gearbox in there. This one has an automatic gearbox, so not displaying that manual version of that. Uh, overall, has some nice aggressive looks to it. The body style to me looks a lot better. They're giving some all-terrain Ridge Grappler tires here from Nitto with some nice black wheels that give it kind of that aggressive look. Over here on the other side, come around here and you can see a little bit of that front grille, a little bit of that headlight design there. So up on top, you can see there is a branded roof rack and a bed rack system that is all branded with Toyota. So that is a OEM add-on, which is kind of a neat feature. You can also see that there's a nice TRD suspension in here that comes with some TRD upper control arms and a really nice red accent coil springs, which totally a big fan of the way that looks. Like to see those types of upgrades on the factory vehicles. Now, I think one of my favorite trim packages is this Tacoma over here. 
This thing just looks awesome to me. This is the Trail Hunter Edition. It has all sorts of ARB goodies here on the bed. Love the way that looks, gives it some aggressive Baja truck styling. Some really nice bronze wheels here with some all-terrain tires. The bronze wheels just really set it off with the look of this vehicle. Uh, and those are something that is just an OE option. Uh, it's got that Trail Hunter badging down below, which looks great. Uh, black fender flares. One of the things that's nice about this one, this one also is not a manual, this is an automatic. They do have a really nice touchscreen display inside, which lots of cool tech features that Toyota is offering. And you can see there in the center console, or actually up on the dash, you can see there's a JBL speaker. That speaker can be pulled out and removed, and it is a Bluetooth speaker so that you can take it around the truck, have it at your campsite, uh, and just have music on the go, which is a pretty neat feature. The thing that I like about the back end of this truck is they have some more ARB accessories here. They have this metal ARB uh, rear bumper, pretty standard bed offerings there, nothing too special. Uh, but one thing that's awesome about these is the Trail Hunter package comes with Old Man Emu suspension, so you can see a little bit of it peeking out there. That suspension offering is so awesome to me. It comes with some built-in rock sliders and also my favorite feature, which is this integrated snorkel. It just blends in seamlessly with the body lines and up onto that pillar there of the cab. Looks great in my opinion. All right, well that does it for today's video. I'm so excited about the Toyota offerings for 2024. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.